Hours-long lines for early voting are the clearest sign of the confusion and concern around new voting rules in Georgia. We tried to uh, just earlier go to our normal place where we dropped off our absentee ballot, but we learned that ballot box is not there. This is the largest election in the state since a restrictive new voting law came into effect known as SB202. It makes it tougher to request and file an absentee ballot. It even bans volunteers from handing out food or water to voters stuck in those long lines. Voting didn't ha doesn't have to be this way, doesn't have to be this complicated, doesn't have to be this controversial. SB202 also allows anyone to challenge the validity of an unlimited number of voter registrations. Election officials have been swamped by an estimated 65,000 challenges to date. It takes up a lot of time when you're trying to prepare for an election, so it's kind of a distraction to, um, to sit there and start doing the whole new process. The new restrictions were passed despite the fact that multiple recounts, audits and court cases found no evidence of widespread voter fraud in the 2020 election. Voting here was already considered safe and secure. Now it's also more difficult. Proponents of SB202 say the law prevents hypothetical counterfeit ballots from being cast. They claim the security of the 2022 midterm elections is still in jeopardy, even with the new measures. I know that people are saying it's not voter suppression. It is voter suppression. Voting rights activist Helen Butler argues the changes disproportionately hurt black and minority voters. In Atlanta, where Democrats dominate, there are now just eight ballot boxes in Fulton County, down from 33. They used to be open around the clock. Now they're only open during limited hours. Ain't no mountain high enough that can stop us from voting. So whatever the barriers you put in place, yeah, we're going to figure a way to make it happen. It's no understatement that every vote here counts. In 2020, President Joe Biden won Georgia by just 11,000 votes. The current Senate race between Herschel Walker and Raphael Warnock is a dead heat. If people are supposed to come out early, uh, they can pretty much, you know, we can, you know, we can turn on and match numbers. That's why SB202 is the wild card in this election. Both Democrats and Republicans feel like they have no choice but to vote early and in person to make sure they can vote at all. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Atlanta.